Welcome back to Mrs. Leong's science class. Today we're going to be working, working with water and oil and we're going to see if we can mix the two if it's possible. We're going to see which one is heavier and which one is lighter and again density the denser an item is a liquid the heavier it is and we're going to play around with those two. So today I have dyed my water blue so it shows up better and I'm going to work again with my little jar I'm going to start out by putting my water into the container. My water is a nice bright blue so it shows up very very easily and now I'm going to take the same amount of water and again I've measured my containers out to 30 milliliters of each so they're the same quantity of water and we'll see what happens. Any predictions? Let's try it. So, oh wow, clearly you can see the oil sitting on top of the water. Let me put my lid on my container, give you a closer look at that. Wow, that looks very interesting together. Let me give it a shake and see if I can mix the two and see if they stay together. Let's see. Well. So far it looks good. Will they stay together? Oh, I can see them starting to separate a little bit. There's a little bit of movement in the container. Well, while we're waiting for that one to sort out what it's going to do, let's do the complete opposite in the next container. We'll keep that here. This time we're gonna start out with the oil and then we'll add the water to the oil and see if the order in which we put them in the container affects what happens. So this time we'll put the oil in first and put the water on top and see what happens. And again I have some bright blue water I'm going to add to that so there's my oil. Here is my bright blue water. Whoa! doesn't seem to matter what order I put them in. That oil likes the top. But because I put the water in first, I can see a tiny drop of water sitting on top of the oil, but I don't think that's gonna last very long. Let me give it a shake. And this one was the water being put in first and then the oil being put, I'm sorry, the oil being put in first and the water being put on top. Let's shake that up and see what happens. Now, while I'm shaking this, Let's take a look at the first one. Oh, well, the blue was the water and it looks like it's gone back to the bottom and the oil is sitting on top. Let's take a look at the second container. This one I started out with the oil on the bottom and I put the water on the top and we'll see what happens to that. While we're waiting for that one, let's take a closer look at the first one. Wow, you can clearly see that the oil likes to be on top. So if the oil is on top, it is less dense. Therefore, it is the lighter liquid and the water is more dense and it is the heavier liquid sinking to the bottom. Let's take a look at our second one. Oh, you can already see it starting to separate. This is going to end up looking very much like the first one. I guess that old saying, water and oil don't mix is actually true. Compare the two. Yep, they're going to look very much the same when all is said and done. I guess oil and water really don't mix after all. Okay, welcome back to Science with Mrs. Leong. We're going to do one more experiment and we need to be very close up to see what's going on here. I put a little bit of water that I've dyed blue in the bottom of my little measuring cup and I'm gonna try, try and mix a little bit of oil on top. I'm gonna use my, my eyedropper to put some oil in there and let's see what happens. Oh, there I can see it floating on top. Let 
let me see if I can get these two to mix this way. No, the oil still wants to do a separate float on top of the water. Welcome back. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to start with the oil on the bottom and I'm going to mix some water on top and see what happens. Put a little bit more water in and see what happens. I wonder if the water is staying on top. Let's have a closer look from the sides. Oh, the water is definitely sinking to the bottom. Well, again, it proves that oil and water just don't seem to want to mix.